Hello everyone, this is THG, aka The Skiing Gamer, and welcome to our all new final pick up video for 2021. And 2021 it has been like really, really great for pickups from everything to like games and DVDs and so forth and so forth. And so I acquired these pickups over the last few months and now recently and all that stuff. And so, you know, so 2021 has been a really, 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 really great year for pickups. And not picking up much as I used to and all this stuff. You know how the video game market is nowadays, especially retro stuff. Price is going up and up and up and up and up. And I don't want to pay any money of those retro games and all that stuff. So I just pick up the stuff here and there and all that stuff. And so I pick up stuff from from previous months and all this stuff. From the LA trip all the way to like other thrift stores and game stores and all that and all that stuff. And so anyway, uh, what I further do, I'm not wasting any time. Hopefully 2022 will be better. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be not much uh, pickup videos and all that stuff for the time time being and all that stuff as much. Until I get like more stuff in the near future and all that stuff. And so anyway, without I further ado, I got a bunch of stuff right here. So no not waste any time. Let's get it started. Alright, so the first thing I'm about to show you right here. Is this uh, is this, I got a new, new phone right here. It's going to be you know, showing you a recording right now. That is the Memorial One 5G Ace. This is a good, good phone right here. This, especially with the camera. The camera quality is way, way improving on the last phone I had and all that stuff. And so, be sure to look out for more videos of this phone right here using using my camera on this new phone. The camera quality is great. Everything about this about that phone is really, really great and all that stuff. And so, if you've seen my last video and all this stuff, the camera quality is great. So, so be a look out for more future videos of this phone right here recording videos and all that stuff and for my tablet and all this stuff i do a regular like regular gameplays and all that stuff and so so i got a new phone right here motorola one 5g ace so this is a really good phone right here to go for right here to have and all that stuff and so unlike the other phone i have so so this is a really, really good uh phone right here all right let's get it all start off with some non gaming or really any item stuff and so I got some DVDs right here and all stuff, some cartoon DVDs and all anime and all that other stuff. So let's start the ones up first. So first one right here, about to show you right here. That is Dragon Ball Z Season 2 and Dragon Ball Z Season 3. So yeah, I have Season 1 already. Now I have, now I have 2 and 3. And, and I'm not going to get the rest of them because I already played the games that I know from the anime and all that stuff. And Dragon Ball Z, you know what Dragon Ball Z is. I love Dragon Ball Z as a kid and all that stuff. And I used to rent these a lot at the library a lot when I was a teenager and all that stuff. And so, so Dragon Ball Z 2 and 3 on DVD right here. So I got this one for like 11 bucks. I got this one for like $24, which is really, really sealed and all that stuff. So these these brought me back memory lane and all that stuff. I cannot wait to rewatch these and all that stuff. So yeah, those are those. Dragon Ball Z season two and three. So yeah, those are those. And the third one I'm about to show you right here. This brings back so many memories. Watching it every every Saturday morning as a cartoon as a kid and all that Fox Kids and all that stuff. That is the uh, the 1992 X Men TV series. This is volume one right here. So this is bringing me nostalgia right here. I got it for like seven bucks. They have other volumes right here from uh, volume one through seven, I believe, and all that stuff. And so. So this is a really, really um, uh, a great DVD to watch. It's bringing me some nostalgia as a kid, watching it as a kid and all that stuff. And so I was re-watching it right now and all that. And I have so much nostalgia with it and all that stuff. So so the 90s X-Men cartoon, bring back some memories as a kid. So I'm so glad I have it on DVD. So yeah, so $6.99, can't beat that. So yeah, there's that. Next one I'm about to show you right here. That is Inuyasha, the second season. Um. Uh, uh, box set. It is the original original box set on DVD. It came out of like like 2002, 2003 era, and, and all that stuff. And I know they have a bunch of episodes of Hulu and all that stuff. I want to get it physically, physically in case I don't have any Hulu and all that stuff. I want to get my own place in the future and all that stuff. So so yeah, for twelve fifty and all that stuff for Inuyasha season two can't beat that. I love Inuyasha and all that stuff, and so it brings me some nostalgia right here. So yeah, there's that. Next one I'm about to show you right here. Oh, let me do this one. 
Uh, next one to show you right here. That is the second season of the original Yu-Gi-Oh series. Uh, this one right here, I love the original Yu-Gi-Oh and GX and all that stuff. Not 5Ds and Sexo and all that stuff, but this one right here brings back so much nostalgia as well and all that stuff. I know I have all the season on Hulu and all that stuff. I just want to get like a physical copy just in case I don't have any like any streaming sites and all that stuff to watch it as well. So I have a physical copy right here to watch anytime and all that stuff. And so this is the uh, this is the um, the um, the original original four kids uh, dub right here. And it had two DVDs and all this stuff. This is the second season from the uh, the dual CDs and all this stuff. So the Dream Events nostalgia for me from the kids W D days and all that stuff. And so so yeah, there is that. So so happy 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 have have this in my anime collection. And the uh, this next one right here, I got it for like ten dollars as well. I got the Falling One of this. Now I got Falling Two of this. I got Chippendale Rescue Ranger Falling Two. Uh, this is another nostalgia show I watch as well. On to Disney and Disney Afternoon collection and all that stuff. This one bring me nostalgia as well. So I have Falling One. Now I have Falling Two. So 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 glad I have the second final box set in my TV show collection. And the last TV show related item I'm about to show you right here. This one right here. I used to hate a lot, lot as a kid and all that stuff. Because I was a big fan of Naruto and all that stuff. But looking back at it now and all that stuff. I really love Avatar and all that stuff. Legend Core are cool and all that stuff. But I prefer this series right here. And that is the, the Avatar. The complete series on DVD. And I got it for like $20 at Trifold Collectibles. It's still sealed and all that stuff. It has all... Three DVDs or the whole complete Avatar series and all that stuff. Avatar bring back so many memories of the kid watching it and all that stuff on Nickelodeon and all that stuff. And this is an awesome, awesome show back in the day and all that stuff. I cannot wait to rewatch it. So for twenty dollars for the complete series of Avatar: The Last Airbender, can't beat that. Bring back memory lane and so glad I have this in my DVD collection. So yeah, there is that. So now that I've got all of the DVD stuff out of the way and all that stuff, let's go on to the, the portion of the collection, which is the games. Alright, all right, let's start off with the, start off with the games right here. So if you guys saw in my uh, LA trip, if you guys see these three games before and all this stuff, if you saw in my LA trip, if you haven't seen that video, please check out on my channel. And these are the three games I'll show you. I'm not going to keep going, going, going in depth and all that stuff. I got two from World A Games and one from Lost Level Games and all that stuff. The, the ones I already showed you already, that is Sonic All-Star Racing Transform. I got this for like 15 bucks. X-Men Legends for the original Xbox. I got it for 10 bucks at World A Games. And for PS4 from Lost Level Games and all that stuff and Arcade Shop, that is Final Fantasy 77 Remake. So... I'm not gonna, gonna talk any of these and all the other stuff. So if you see my last LA, if you see haven't seen my LA video, check out my LA video and you'll I'll talk about it here and there. So 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 glad to have these in my collection. That's all I can say. So yeah, there's all those. All right, two N64, two N64 games right here and all this stuff. These two bring back arcade classic memories for me. I played these arcade as a kid and all this stuff. I got this one out of the gaming store. And also, where they have the arcades and all that stuff, where I picked up the Donkey Kong Country 3 like a couple years ago and all that before field game prices I skyrocketed. That is NBA Hang Time on the N64 and Gauntlet Legends on eBay. I got it for like 40 bucks and all that stuff. So I got NBA Hang Time for $25 and Gauntlet Legend for uh, $40. So, so, yeah, yeah. So NBA Hang Time, bring, this brings back some memories playing this game as a kid and all that at the arcades and all that stuff. Well, and, uh, and the thing unique about this game and the home phone consoles and all that stuff, they have the uh, the class of 96 uh, teams and on there, like the late great Kobe Bryant, Ivor Iverson, and all the 96 class teams, all that stuff to their teams and all that stuff. And so that's a really, really, really plus right here. So this bring back so many memory lane and all that stuff, bring the you know, arcades and all that stuff. This is a bring me nostalgic right here. It is a, like, a, like a second up to an NBA jam and all that stuff next to Showtime and all that stuff. So yeah. There is that for $25 for NBA Hang Time. Can't beat that. So happy I have this in my N64 collection. And for Gauntlet Legends, I used to play this a lot, lot in the arcades as a kid and all that stuff. And I used to play with Matthew, aka Game Boy SB13, at, for the Dreamcast and all that stuff. And I wanted for the N64 and all that stuff. Since I don't have a Dreamcast, they have four player uh, 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 multiplayer and all that stuff. You could play with friends and all that stuff. So 
But like, playing by yourself and all this stuff, it get boring. Wanting to play your friends and all that is really, really fun. So for forty dollars for Gauntlet Legends on eBay, can't beat that. So so two N64 games I have in my collection. And these are the two final games that I have in my N64 collection. I'm not gonna collect not gonna buy any more N64 games. These are the ones, the last two games games I got. And there's gonna be no more buying from the N64 collection and all that stuff. I got all the games I need. And so my N64 collection is all set. So yeah, those are those. Alright, thrift thrift store finds and all that stuff. And before I show you the two games right here, the use the two games I used to have right here is Luigi Mansion on the GameCube. And Ace Combat 5 on uh, PS2. I trade those in because I used to ha I have those already and all that stuff. And I used to trade those two games in. And the last game by the show right here at the end of, of the pickup video and all that stuff. And so, so these two are what are keep. Those two are already sold and all that stuff. And these two I already get to keep and all that stuff. And for the GameCube and all that stuff, that is Pac-Man versus versus Pac-Man World 2. But the bad thing is that they don't have Pac-Man 2 World on there. So. But I already have Pac-Man World 2 on PS2, but it doesn't matter to me that much. But for Pac-Man Versus, this is a really awesome game back then and all that stuff. If you hook up your own Game Boy Advance, Lake Keeper, all that, with all four Game Boys and all that stuff, you can play the classic Pac-Man and all that stuff. You usually play with Pac-Man, or then the other players can play uh, uh, the Ghosts and all that stuff. So this is bringing the nostalgic right here. So for like three twenty, for like $1.64 and all that, with my employee, employee discount and all that stuff, super, super beat that, even though I don't collect much game games anymore. This bring me nostalgia right here. So yeah, there is that. And the last uh, thrift store I find, I'm about to show you right here. And I'm not a big fan of the uh, Elder Scrolls series and all that, but this is the popular game and all that stuff. And since I didn't have it in the Xbox 360 collection, and it's come out of every system now and all that stuff. Everybody knows this game and all that stuff. For $1.64 left for my employee appreciate discount, I didn't have it. Might well add it to the collection. Uh, L War Scar 5 Skyrim. So. Skyrim is a really, really popular game. Everybody played this and, you know, all that stuff. It is complete. It even came with the, um, the, uh, the, the map and all the other stuff. So, for $1.64 for Skyrim and all that stuff for the Xbox 360. So, didn't really have it. And so, this, and so glad I might as well add it to the uh, Xbox 360 collection. And so, PS2 games right here. I got it for a uh, gaming store in 1999. And I got the first two on GameCube. I didn't get, didn't get, didn't get this one to complete the set and all that stuff. That is Midway Arcade Treasures 3 on the PS2. This one right here has San Francisco Rush, Hydro Thunder, Super Auto, Badlands, Racing Driving, Sun Runner, San Francisco Rush 2049, and Off Road Thunder. Uh, these are the good like racing games right here. Even though the emulation of the quality of the games wasn't really the best, in my opinion, of this compilation. But still, if you don't want to get like the uh, big spend money on those games right here, this is a combination you get. Beware, the emulator of the game is kind of kind of crappy. It kind of kind of sucks. So, but for twenty bucks and all that stuff for the for the, for the last Midway Arcade Treasure game I needed, can't be that. I have one and two on the GameCube. Now I have this one on the PS2. So I so the Midway Arcade Trailer set is now complete. So yeah, so super super happy about that. And I got it for fifteen bucks. Um, I got it for like Trifle Collectibles and all that stuff. I was so excited when Sora came in for Smash Brothers Ultimate and all that stuff. And this game right here, I never really be big big fan of, but this installment right here, based on card base and all that stuff. I'm not a huge big, big fan of a card base and all that stuff. I played the original one on the Game Boy Advance back in the day. I didn't really like it, but this is a remake of it back in the day and all that stuff. But for fifteen dollars, all that, my was complete completed to complete the PS2 Kingdom Hearts games and all that stuff. That game is talking about that is Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories on the PS2. Uh, this is a really, really uh, 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 alright game and all this stuff. I'm not a really big fan of card based games, like I said, but for 15 bucks and all this stuff, all this stuff, might well com complete it to add to complete this for the PS2 uh, Kingdom Hearts trilogy and all this stuff. So it is complete. So, so glad I have the last Kingdom Hearts game I needed for the PS2. So, yeah, there are that. And this one right here, I got for like a like a dollar or something at at the good at the Goodwill and all that stuff. This brings back so many memories. And these are the ones I played a lot, lot as a kid and all that stuff. It's kind of pointless to play these now because I have the, all those Namco museum compilations and all that stuff. But these back in the day, these plug-in plays back in the day. If you don't have like a video game and all that stuff, 
these are a gold T right here and all that stuff. And that is yeah, the Miss Pac-Man uh, plug and play. This one has Mix Pac-Man, Mappy, Exevious, Galica, and Pole Position. So so for like $1.69 and all that stuff, might well add it back to my childhood childhood and all that stuff. Might well add, uh, buy it and add it back to the collection and all that stuff. Because I used to lot this like many, many goals and all that stuff. And now it's found again. So super, super happy about that. All right, now let's get on with the um, with the current games and all that stuff, and one last pickup about to show you at the end. So, and these I already show in the um, show in the uh, the games I have been playing series all this. So I'm not gonna talk about them much and much and all the other stuff except for one. And so these these games right here are gonna be shown in the uh, games I beat in 2021 video. So stay tuned for that video, and that game we're really talking about for September. That in Cruising Blast on the Nintendo Switch is an awesome, awesome uh, arcade racing game from the Cruising Blast series. And I'm not going to explain much more, much about this game. If you haven't seen my games I've been playing series, all that about this game, you need to go check those episode out. So yeah, there's that. And the Super Monkey Ball Mania, Mania, and Mario Party Superstars. These two release came out in October and all that stuff. Like I said, I'm not going to talk about these games right here and all that stuff. If you haven't seen in my episode of games where I've been playing series season one and all that stuff in these episodes, I will talk about these games more in depth. So I'm not going to talk about these in depth. So so yeah, Super Ball, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Mania right here and Mario Party Superstars on Nintendo Switch. So these are two releases came out for October. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk any about it. Blah, blah, blah. So if you wanna see me a demo on it? Check out my games where I've been playing episodes and all that stuff. So yeah, there's all those. And the um and the last one right here and all that's last one of one one right here and all that stuff, which is not showing and showing in the games I've been playing series. This I have this I beat the first one and all that stuff. I was so happy when happy about the game when it first came out and all that stuff. I was about to really get this game when it first came out and all that stuff. But due to priorities and all that last year, all that with the pandemic and all that, I couldn't get it. But now I finally get it. I'm having a blast with it so far and all this stuff. And I beat Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and all this stuff. I love the original Tony Hawk 1 on the N64 and all that. It did bring me so much nostalgia. That game I'm talking about right here, that is Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered on the PS4. And so this is a really, really awesome remake from the original Tony Hawk series. They made it perfect, perfectly justice and all that stuff. I beat the original, beat the uh, the first remake and all that stuff, and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna need to put, play the second one really, really soon and all that stuff. So if you never played a Tony Hawk game and all that stuff back in the days and all that stuff, one series and the new generation stuff of it, play Tony Hawk Pro Skater One and Two Remaster on any system. You won't regret it. So this is an awesome, 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 awesome game right here. So yeah, there's that. All right, and the last game I'm about to show you right here. I pay for like trade credit with no no cash, no money, no none of that. I pay for pay pay with a bunch of a bunch of trade credit and I put trade with those two games that I was about to show you right here and all that stuff. And that game I'm about to show you right here. The last one I got for the so I got for the whole trade credit and all that and they pay no money for it. I got in store credit and all that stuff. And this is sitting in the glass case and all that stuff. I have the third one. And, and all that stuff. I didn't get this one and all this stuff. This one is really, really rare. It costs this game go for like like 70 to like $150 and all that stuff. And that game I really, really needed. I got with my trade credit with no money spent and all that stuff. That is the original Dolph Stalkers on the PS1. Now, this is a really, really, uh, really, really expensive game. And this is a game I really, really needed. And I paid no money for it. I just paid trade credit for it. So it says $150 bucks on it. I didn't pay $150 bucks for it. I just paid all of it in trade credit. So it is complete with the manual. And the disc look flawless and all that stuff. And the Doll Soccer series is literally amazing. Even the Doll Soccer games is hard to come by and all that stuff. And the underrated uh, Capcom fire games and all that stuff. So be sure, be sure to... Be sure... You stay tuned, so I'm going to check out all new gameplay videos of the first Dolph Sucker right here on the PS1. So, this is a like huge, 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 huge pickup of the year and all that stuff. So, I paid this in store credit, not with no money, no cash, and all that stuff for this game right here. So, this is a highlight of the pickup of the year and all that stuff. And so, so yeah, so super, super happy, happy to have the first Dolph Suckers and this rare PS1 game in my collection. So, yeah, there is that. 
All right, that is it, you guys, for the whole new pickup video and all that stuff. This is the last pickup video for 2021. Like I said, in 2022 and all that stuff, there's not going to be pickups in any videos. Not ain't going to be any pickups videos and all that stuff. And I got to pick up stuff here and there and all that stuff. If I do get some stuff, like, here and there and all that stuff, I will do a pickup video. But for right now, there's going to be be no more pickup videos as I used to, like I said, and all that stuff. So... So tell me come comment below what game you guys been, been, been picking up and all the ad stuff that you guys pick up throughout the year and all that stuff. So make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to follow me for my upcoming videos, check out my Facebook.com fan page at facebook.com slash tsgamer7. And I'll see y'all next time with another video. Thank you very much and goodbye.